<clears throat> What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. You hear that clown crying? <laughs> Let me tell you who this clown is. Let me change my lights to blue. Cause he feeling blue right now. <laughs> this masculine is feeling blue. Okay. Now, this reading is specifically for those of you that you're either your person was married um they was married to a karmic and they met you um but they haven't divorced um or you met somebody that they was you somebody okay i just gotta just say it instead of trying to beat around the bush this is for somebody that you was fooling around with a married man somebody was married okay this masculine is crying because he's signing some divorce papers. This is the same masculine that I'm talking about. Those of you that your masculine, he he went off and secretly married somebody else. Okay, that's for those of you. Tell him shut the fuck up. See, the reason he's crying is because the person that he left you for had somebody on the side. They was in a private relationship, but they was putting on a show for this masculine like they was really with him. And the person that they had on the side, they wasn't wearing protection with. And he's crying because him and his karmic was always getting into fights about divine feminine. Because this masculine, no matter though, even though he married this karmic, he still trusts a divine feminine. So this led this karmic to start going off. You know, this made her, she must be a queen of wands in reverse because... She used the the as her defense to go out and, and have a secret relationship with somebody else because this masculine basically was defending you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. And the secrets was exposed. She was abandoning this masculine. This masculine would be horny and shit. And she would leave. She wouldn't have an intimacy with him because she was um, in a private relationship with somebody else. And there's this is why the betrayal is there. He crying. Because he left the true divine feminine for karmic energy. He married her. But see the overall energy is now. He's divorcing her. So this is for those of you that. Your person secretly married somebody. Behind your back. Now they crying. <laughs> Tell us shut the fuck up. 
So we're going to tap in with a little bit of hidden, hidden future. apology now this could be him coming to you with a fake apology all because he butt hurt <laughs> he coming to apologize with a fake ass apology because he butt hurt because the person he he secretly sneaked and married while he had you sitting around waiting on him you know, some of you weren't even aware of this. Some of you are aware of it. Total drama in reverse. He wasn't taking action towards you because he secretly went off and married somebody. <laughs> Don't that cry sound pitiful? Fake friends. Yeah, he was fake. And the people around him is fake. So he picked up that energy of being fake with you. That's what the fuck he get. He's losing money. <laughs> All behind this private relationship. She done pissed him off. He mad. His head done exploded. When he found out about this betrayal and this private relationship that she was in, he seen him. Somewhere... Him and his his wifey poo <laughs> waste ass <asking> Wanda <laughs> was seen somewhere looking off into the sky into the sunset with somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. He can't trust her no more, so he divorced her. He seen her. She stabbed him in the back. Condom. He found a condom in her purse. Now he in his feelings. Because <laughs> he's getting played. No more manipulation, no more lies, no more control. <laughs> he don't want to get played. It's too late. He been getting played. If she if she on the beach somewhere watching the sun go down with some other motherfucker. <laughs> with a condom in her purse. What's with this condom in the purse? Oh, <laughs> Got caught. Finding evidence. Getting caught cheating. See? Yeah. Now the same betrayal. <clears throat> the same betrayal that he performed on you, Divine Feminine, is being performed on this clown. Yeah, he was doing all of them disappearing acts. Juggling you and shit. putting on a show she did the same thing to him <laughs> now he crying put in the comments that's what the fuck he get see T W T F H G put that in the comments so YouTube won't won't block you okay tell me more about this masculine crying Keeping you a secret. Uh-huh. See? He secretly married her. He probably didn't even tell her about you. <laughs> Somebody is insecure. Oh, he didn't tell her about you because she's insecure. You a divine feminine. Okay, Holy Spirit, what else? What else? <laughs> he 
he already know the tea. Or you already know the tea. Yeah. Watching the shit go down. Yeah, I told you. I told you. He was watching this shit. He might as well had a had a gossip popcorn. He seen her on watching the sunset with somebody. Probably at the he probably seen him at the movies or seen her coming from the movies or something. She he could have seen her coming from a fucking show. Something. He caught her. He seen her. And she had a condom in her purse. These were the secrets being exposed. <laughs> Don't he sound pitiful? He sounds so sad. What you gonna do to buy feminine? <laughs> what you gonna do about your man? <laughs> ah, shit. Divine feminine. <laughs> He depressed. Yeah, he, he should be. He secretly married her. Let me get my other deck. Now, nah, shit. Let's see. See, in the beginning when he married her, he... He, it's like she was his good luck charm. Treated him better than anybody. Now with this in reverse, he treated, she treated him, she, nobody never did no shit like this to him. He feeling some type of way. That's why he crying. And Divine Feminine, she, she sitting right here, she ain't saying nothing. You may use your intuition and you knew this was going to happen. If you knew that he was dealing with somebody else or... Yeah. You knew the relationship between him and her was not a secure relationship. You may even try to warn him. But he walked away. Or he took a trip. She could have... She could have... Uh, ooh, if this is a masculine and he moved to another state with her or something... And, and and she got him out there and he found out that, that she was cheating. I bet he feeling like a real fool. A big super duper doofus fool. He have to be. Taking a trip going out there. Ooh. He could have traveled to her. What I mean. This could be somebody he met online too. Some of you it is. A false person. Okay. This is some sort of court documents. The court papers. Something to do with a judge. Oh, the divorce. Clarify this court. Why is the court here, Holy Spirit? Somebody, somebody, he's, he's doing something. Um, he, he's, he's, he's got somebody doing some either um, some false documents or somebody that worked in the court system is unofficial. They not, they not. They're, they're doing dirty work. Something to that effect. Somebody, it, it has something to do with a judge. Because I see this judge, it's like he still have his robe on. But you know, like, um, I guess he off duty. And he's walking out with some court papers. Unless he's taking this, unless these, this court, this judge is taking these papers home to look over them. I don't know. They can do that, right? So this could be that or somebody could be stealing some court papers. 
falsifying some documents. Yeah. It, it, this divorce is something with the court and saying something like something about a relationship. Maybe this masculine is trying to get these papers. Is it annulled where like he's going to show proof to him that she was cheating or something? And that's going to help him get the divorce. He got the rights to the divorce. Yeah. All right, Divine Feminine. I said I was going to pull some more, but let's see. What is the outcome for this masculine that's crying? What is the outcome? What's the outcome for this masculine, this crying masculine? Unofficial person. So he's either either him is divorcing this person and he got somebody doing some unofficial work or unofficial paperwork. Somebody is working hard. Oh. Oh, okay. But the main man in, ver in reverse, he's, he's, filing, he's filing against her and he's gave some proof that she was unofficial in their marriage. She was, she's, she was cheating. Yeah. So yeah, he filing for a divorce. But he's crying. What is this masculine feeling when it comes to divine feminine? I smoke my cigarettes all the way down to the butt, y'all. Cigarettes is too expensive now. Traveling. Like if he traveled and moved away from you, Divine Feminine, to be with her, <clears throat> maybe he's thinking about traveling back to wherever he came from. <laughs> Tell me more about how this masculine feels about Divine Feminine. Expecting, expectation. What is the expectation? In despair in reverse. You're not homeless. You don't have money problems. He know you got a job. Wow. Damn. So Divine Feminine, he's planning on coming back to you. He's planning on coming back to you because you got your own shit. You got a job. You ain't got no money problems. You not homeless. And he coming wearing a false mask. Okay, okay. I got to get... What is this false mask, Holy Spirit? What is it? What is he coming back pretending? What is he pretending? Divine Feminine needs to know. About the court. <laughs> These three. So he's that he's he's getting karma. He ain't gonna let you know that he getting karma. Adjudication. A message in reverse that could represent um him not signing some papers or this lady, whoever he married, this karmic energy, she she ain't signed her divorce papers. If he divorced her, she's narcissistic, and he's going to want to hang out with you. So, Divine Feminine, don't let this man back in your house. He coming, baby. And he's going to be wearing a false mask. He could be a Pisces or a Leo. Aquarius.
He's he's gonna be lying because this 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 karmic ex who he's divorcing, she ain't gonna either either she haven't signed the divorce papers or she ain't gonna want to. Um he may not even he may tell you that the divorce is final, that it's over, but it's not. Oh, and, and okay, and okay, I just heard Divine Feminine. Some of you be careful because this person is, they're going to come back and they're going to show you some false documents that they, they that they divorced her, but they haven't. Mm -mm. That's some fake documents. Remember I said the judge going out, they may know somebody in the court system or something. Yeah. They're gonna make me try to make you believe that uh, they divorced this karmic so they can get their ass up in your house. Look, the court. See? Clarify the court. Clarify this court situation for this masculine. Give me three cards for my sweet divine nieces. This is the rat. This person, they could be a user, manipulator. When they come to your house, they're going to have all of their fucking friends at your house. All up in your refrigerator, in your pots and shit. Is that what you want, Divine Feminine? This person is for the street, and they're going to be causing a lot of little small problems around your house. If you let them come back. Ooh, ooh. This could be a street rat. Hood rat type of energy. Somebody from the streets, street hustler type. Two more, Holy Spirit. Death, an ending, something coming to an end. For some of you, this motherfucker is going to say that this, this karmic died. Now, if he come with a real obituary or something, and you can look it up, then you believe him. But he may even be saying that, or he may come saying, oh, she's dead to me. Uh, the relationship between us is over. The marriage is over. But it's false. He's he's not telling the truth. Where's my table? <laughs> Is this masculine telling the truth about about this the divorce? He's no longer obligated. He's coming to tell you he's no longer obligated to her. He's not letting her burn him out no more. He broke the rules. He's an emperor in reverse. Aries energy. I see Scorpio out here too. Mm. He going, yeah, she was a queen of cups in reverse. Because she was, if she was having a, uh, a private relationship with somebody else, she was giving that, that loving, caring energy to somebody else. She wasn't giving it to him. Yeah. Something to do with her offering him some money. So, okay, um, I forgot what I was supposed to be asking. There's no sexual energy between them. Ace of Wands reverse. It's over. He walked away. Okay, well, he may have walked away. It may be over. He may not be having sex with her. But it's still saying that she ain't signing no divorce papers. Okay? She's a she's a queen of swords. She ain't signing them divorce papers, even though the relationship between him and her is, is not equal give and take. That's because she's giving all of her energy the part of the energy she's supposed to be giving to this masculine, she's giving it to somebody else. There was a big argument or something. And it was over. 
Ten of Pentacles. Ten Ten is over. She could have been plotting and planning on this masculine, but whatever plans or plots that um, he had, it didn't work, and that's good for his ass because he he was he, he did the he planned and he made his plans come through when he married this karmic and thought he was gonna keep divine feminine waiting on the side, and just like he plotting and planning, it didn't work. It ain't working for him with this. He, he was plotting and planning to be with that karma. And she was plotting and planning to be with somebody else. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. His plan didn't work. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Just so I can end this reading. Queen of Swords flipped out. See? Ten of Pentacles, she got money. So she was cheating on this masculine. And she set some clear boundaries. And she's cutthroat. She gave him direct communication about her money. Okay. He probably thought he was going to be regulating her money and shit. And she didn't, she didn't shut it down. Either she, she walked away from him. She had this masculine in the basement or something. <laughs> I don't know if that's literally or energetically. His ass is like he coming out of the basement. <laughs> Some of you, he may have a child with her. The Empress energy. But she came in reverse. Tell him shut the fuck up. See, some sort of magic or manipulation. That's why he walked away from you. That'd be the majority of the time why they walk away from you. You know, it's because somebody is either doing some sort of manipulation, some sort of magic. The manipulation can be them, you know, fucking around with them, knowing that they got a woman and, you know, having sex with them and saying they pregnant by them. To make them, you know, it's a lot of things that karmic energies do to get a divine masculine. And now this divine masculine, he's divorcing her. Mm -hmm. it's like he have no choice and she could have been somebody just to come in, in to break up the divine masculine and divine feminine by pulling this divine masculine away from the feminine by him wanting you know because the majority of the reasons they always come out the same with the karmic energies when it comes be when it comes to a divine masculine and a divine feminine, the relationship or, or the twin flame journey is always a karmic energy. That's the reason that that relationship don't, you know, um, progress. So you have to be with your, your, your person have to be in their true divine element to be able to, you know, um, resist temptation and, um, you know, just temptation, be able to resist. It. And these masculines, they, they get their crowns knocked off because they get out here, they chase and tail and shit. Um, where if they had a divine feminine, a real true divine feminine, she's every man's wish come true. He ain't she gonna do everything. He ain't gonna need to go and search for a real another woman. Because divine feminine is all that in one. So when they go out and they get these karmic energies, they just go back, they go for the karmic energies. Who are the, the Queen of Pentacles and the the uh, Queen of uh, Wands in reverse? Though the majority of the time, those are the energies that they leave for. They leave a true divine feminine for the the Queen of Wands because she's beautiful and sexy, but she uses her her sexiness, her sex appeal. She has a lustful spirit, and these men fall for her. Okay, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's stingy, you know, she's money hungry, she's a gold type of energy, she'll do anything for money. And when they got them two in one energy, that's a feminine with her crown knocked off. And that's who they go through, they go for, they're in a karmic energy. So then this makes these masculines distorted because they fall into the same energies of dealing with them type of women. Low vibrational women, the women that like to fight, the women who... Um, like to bust out their windows and shit. Um, 
intimidate them, and women who won't don't want to accept that it's over with them, and, and instead they'll do witchcraft or they'll uh, manipulate them. You know, instead of just healing and getting over the hurt that went on between them, if you hurting in the relationship, that relationship is not for you. If you're not equal, you know, if the relationship is not equal, that relationship is not for you. And a lot of people get stuck marrying people for, for their looks and for their money and not really looking at that person's true heart. That's why they never can find true love because they out there looking for materialistic shit. What this person can get for them there is not true love. And that's what this masculine, he didn't got himself caught up with. And that's why he's sitting there crying like a baby. Divine Feminine, is you going to give him a piece of tissue? Or you going to let his nose run and shit and his eyes? You going to let him have snot all down his face? <laughs> okay, my beautiful nieces. I'm, I'll see y'all in the next read. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Peace out.